In this video, I'm going to be going over how to optimize your products and make them look good for SEO in the Google search engine. So this one's going to be pretty quick. So let's hop right into it. So we're going to head into the product section and I'm going to add a new product. Now just for the sake of example here, I'm just going to make up a product. Let's just go with Let's go with tennis ball bucket. And I'm not going to worry about the description or anything here cuz I'm just going over the SEO portion, so we're going to go ahead and scroll down to search engine listing preview and we're going to edit the website SEO. Now if you don't know what this is for, I'll show you real quick. We'll head over to Google and I'll just search tennis ball bucket. And you can see your page title is what's going to show up right here in Google. And then your meta description is what this is right here. So to make ours look as good as possible, you see how this has the three dots here and this has the three dots here. This description is too long and it's not optimized and this title is too long and it's not optimized. I mean obviously it's ranking because it's an Amazon product, but we want to make our description and titles look a little bit better than that. So we're going to head back. So for a page title I could do tennis ball bucket, but we can use more than 18 characters so I'm going to add a space and I'm going to put up a bar and then I'm gonna put the name of my site which is sample test store one two three and you see this already looks better in the eyes of the Google search engine because you will see the product this bar and then the site name and if you go over here you can see that's what Dick Sporting Goods did here with tennis balls and you can see that looks very well put together and so does their well, not this description actually. This description looks pretty nice. So we're going to combine what both of these guys did for ours. So now I'm just going to fill in a description here. Now, you want to optimize your description with a few keywords, but you also don't just want to stuff keywords and put something in there like, this is a tennis ball bucket, this is the best tennis ball bucket out of all the tennis ball buckets in the world of tennis ball buckets. You don't want to do that because that looks stupid and you'll get penalized for that anyway. So you want to try like a bunch of different synonyms, I guess you could say, to your keyword of tennis ball bucket. And then you also just want to, you know, actually write a legitimate description. So I'm going to write a good description real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back and you can see that I wrote a little description here. Uh, shop for brand new buckets of tennis balls now. Browse a wide variety of bulk tennis balls at Sample Test Store 123. Now this could probably be written a lot better, but I'm just trying to show you an example of what to do with the keywords. You can see that buckets of tennis balls and bulk tennis balls pretty much means the same thing as tennis ball bucket, but it's not the exact same keyword. So it doesn't look like keyword stuffing, but we are still getting that same keyword in there three times. And then if you come down here to the URL and handle, this is obviously, is it's just going to be what shows up up top here. Usually you can just keep that as default if you like. So I know this has been a pretty quick video, but I remember saying in my Shopify tutorial that I would go over this real quick. So I hope that this helps and I'll see you in the next video.